Read aloud story time. Elisa B and her baby seagull. Elisa P loved to go boating with her dad, Livy. Whenever they went out during the summertime, Livy found baby birds. One summer, when Elisa P was seven years old, her dad brought home a baby seagull. Wow! Elisa P named her seagull Now Yaga, but called her Now for short. Now was a pretty small gray spotted bird. Elisa P fell in love with Now from the moment her father brought the bird home. For the first week, Now lived in Elisa P's house in a cardboard box. Now was always hungry. Livy taught Elisa P which foods Now could eat. She fed Now scalpins, seal fat while blubber and even a small krill. Now being hungry all the time, swallowed the scalpins whole with her yellow pig. Elisa P was impressed. Now grew and grew and grew. She grew white and gray feathers and had pink waved feet. Elisa P and her brother Jamie went to the shore together during low tide. At low tide, it was easy to hop from one rock to another. There they gathered scalpins and krill for now to eat. They made sure to watch carefully for the tide so that they would be safe. Once now got too big to live in the cardboard box, she lived on top of the family's shed. Elisa P feed her just as her father had taught her. She even took Now down the street to show her friends her pretty pet bird. And she and her friends chased Now around and watched her swim in the ponds nearby. Now was loved by Elisa P. She taught Elisa P how to care, how to feed an animal, and how to have patience. Each day after school, Elisa P came home and rushed to find Now. She fed Now and hugged her, and then brought her out to play. As the days passed, Now grew and grew and grew some more. One night, Elisa P asked her father, How will Now ever learn to fly? Livy replied, If you throw her into the air, towards those northern lights and stars, she will fly. Elisa P was afraid to throw her pet seagull, 
but knowing that her father spent most days on the land and knew about many animals, she believed he was right. Now was about the size of a football and was quite heavy. Elizabeth picked her up and held her for a moment. Then, gathering her strength, she threw now high into the air, aiming for the northern lights and the stars. Now fluttered her wings, but did not fly. She landed on the tundra, looking excited and scared at the same time. On the second try, Elizabeth drew now even higher. Wow! Elizabeth screamed as now flapped her wings and glided a little bit in the air. But now Zoon landed right back on the tundra. On the third try, Elizabeth was no longer scared. She was so excited for now to finally fly. Elizabeth threw now once again. A gust of wind whipped against Elizabeth's face, but she soon realized it was actually now's large wings flapping in the air now was flying elizabeth looked up at now with excitement she was finally flying she quickly flapped her wings and climbed high into the air gliding on the wind Elizabeth started to feel worried that now might never return. But when now flew right above Elizabeth and returned to the top of their shed, Elizabeth was relieved. After that first flight, now often flew around town mixing with the other seagulls by the shoreline. Elizabeth thought, how will I know which bird is mine when there are so many other seagulls? Then she had an idea. Elizabeth found a pretty pink shiny ribbon in her mom's swing box and tied a beautiful bow on Now's foot. Elizabeth smiled and said to Jamie, Now we will know where she is wherever she goes. Sure enough, when Elizabeth saw seagulls flying along the shoreline, she knew exactly where now was. She watched while now hunted krill and sculpins on her own. Sometimes now even played with other seagulls. Now was one brave seagull. She traveled all over town and returned each night to Elizabeth's shed. One day, Elizabeth came home from school and now was not on top of the shed. Where could my beautiful bird be? Elizabeth thought. The next day, now still had not returned to the shed. 
After a few more days, Elisa B knew that now was not coming back. <laughs> Mom, Elisa B cried to her mother. Now is gone. Elisa B's mom gave her a big hug and a conic. Elisa P, sometimes you have to learn to let things go, she said. No, will always be a beautiful spirit. She taught you many things, but she could not stay on our shed forever. Elisa P wiped her tears and went back outside to play. After that day, whenever Elisa P watched the seagulls, on the shoreline, she quietly hoped to see a small pink bow tied to one of the bird's feet. She often gazed into the distance of the land and the sky, watching the beautiful seagulls and hearing them enjoy the fresh cold arctic air. As she watched, she remembered now and her beautiful spirit. The end.